I quit. I have a good life. I have a great job, good enough salary, straight out of college, and yet here I am, quitting my job. For those who don't know me, my name is Maros. I'm a software engineer for over 10 years, and I work as a freelance iOS developer. I always dreamt about this, about this life, working as a freelancer, having my own schedule, but it wasn't until my second serious burnout that I realized I have to change something. You see, I started at IBM when I was in my third year of computer science studies and I worked there for a couple of years and I never stopped working ever since. Yes, I had some vacations here and there, but that was never more than two weeks. I grew as a developer at IBM. I tried the corporate life and it felt good to some extent. After all these years, it suddenly started to be harder and harder to wake up in the morning and work. I was always pissed off about all these meetings, the questions I got asked by my colleagues or the tasks I had to work on. And that's when I knew that something's off. It was summer 2022 when I visited Thailand and lived there for five weeks. Being so far away from your home makes you think about your life and what's coming next. For me, I knew that my journey at IBM is coming to an end because of all those feelings, frustration and anger. And I also knew that applying for yet another corporate job is not a good step at this point. And so there were two paths I had to choose from. Starting as a freelancer or going full time working on my side projects. My side project at the time was making roughly $600 a month. So that's also not a very good idea. Quitting my corporate job later in the beginning of 2023 was a very difficult decision. Going away from the safety and comfort of the full-time employment was very scary. But then I pulled the trigger and started looking for my first freelancing contract. Not even two months passed and I signed the first contract. I was very excited. It was always my dream to be a freelancer, working on my own schedule and from anywhere in the world. And this is what I do today. I am a freelancer and I work for the exact same company I worked for when I first started a year ago. One would think that this is my dream, right? I always wanted to be a freelancer and here I am being a freelancer, right? Well, yes, but actually no. I now feel the exact same things I felt back in 2022 when the first burnout showed up. And is it this a second burnout or is it just one long burnout which comes and goes? I guess I will never know, but what I do know is that there is something wrong and something has to change right now. Thanks to my bullet journal, I am able to go back to the old days and read about what I was going through and sure enough, it's the same thing. I spend lots of hours thinking and talking to my partner about what's coming next. What's the thing I need to change to move on? I went back to the Thailand trip memories and I remember I had two paths to choose from, freelancing or going full-time working on my side projects. I tried the first option, freelancing, and it got me to the same exact spot. Maybe I should try the second path now, going full-time working on my own side projects. And that's why I decided to quit my job. A couple of weeks ago I did it. I gave my three months notice and now I have a clear picture of what's coming next for me. It was a very hard decision to do, having the good enough stability of the full-time contract is definitely something I will miss the most. This decision didn't come from nowhere, of course, it's very well thought out and planned, including finances, plan B and even plan C. I had a strong urge and gut feeling that this is the right thing to do to move on and to grow even more, not only as a developer, but as a person. So what's my plan? What am I gonna do now without a stable income? The plan is to switch focus to my side projects and grow my app trading tracker. I haven't done any marketing so far and all users are organic from the app store. My assumption is that if I will spend some time on marketing, it will grow even more. The app now covers most of my expenses. Yes, there are ups and downs, so the income is not stable. However, I have big enough savings that I can live off of even if my app would make nothing. I also want to grow this YouTube channel and have it as an additional income. I really enjoy doing these videos and I'm sure that having more headspace for this will allow me to create better content. I'm currently also working on another project that could serve as another side income. I will be releasing it very soon and it might be very helpful for some of you, so stay tuned for that. Making this kind of big and potentially life-changing decision requires a thorough planning. 
what if the revenue from the app won't be enough? What if none of my side incomes will cover my expenses? And that's when the plan B comes into place. Before I go into details, I would like to talk about course careers. You see, having so many options in life is a privilege we software engineers have. I partnered with the guys over at Course Career so we could bring you a comprehensive guide and course to get you going as a software engineer. You can not only learn the most important fundamentals for your career, but also have an interview with the companies Course Careers work with. You will be working on your own projects and have them reviewed by your own mentors. You can sign up for the free introductory course without any obligations and if you use my link down in the description, you can get $50 off of the full course. So what's my plan B then? Well, it's simple, I will just find another job. I have really thought out financial plan and strict rules in place so that when my plan A won't work out, I have to find another job. Is it going to be another freelancing contract or a full-time employment? I don't know. What I realized about myself after all these years is that I really don't enjoy working on something I don't like. With both long-term freelancing contract and also full-time employment, I would have to work for one single company and most probably on one single project. With that being said, the best plan B for me is to look for a shorter freelancing contract, let's say for three months. In three months, you can get things done without really having a chance to burn out or having some bad feelings about it. So this is it. This is my story of quitting my job and pursuing what's really important to me. And if you ever find yourself in this kind of situation in your life, Life, do what needs to be done. I was putting off this step for years now and I just know that if I wouldn't do it now, I would regret it for the rest of my life. Remember, the only failure is not trying. Now, I would like to hear from you. What are your thoughts when it comes to pursuing your dreams? Do you have something in mind you would like to try, but you are scared? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Take care.